Hi, Hello. it's hi, it's Karen and Tim <laughs> from Stamping on the Back Porch. Welcome to another Create with Us on Thursday. So, if you have, <laughs> he's been off all day. He had no <laughs> idea he had to be home in time for this. No, no, that was Monday. Today we are doing lattice cards. So this is like one style. Here is another style. And you can create along with us. I put it up. All you need are some pattern paper, design series paper, and a template that you can download right today. If you go there, I'll put the link below. But if you go there today, it's the current blog post. So here in Titus.com. And that's all you're going to need. But of course, first, we're going to chat. And you know what? We've got mail. I have more birthday mail. Yes, you do. <laughs> My birthday never okay. ends. Can I make it enough? Uh -huh. I got eight birthday cards today. Karen got one. Oh, finally, he's so finally it is shifting. Hey, and he's getting this good size basket. He's feeling really, really good about I his am. birthday, you guys. He I he so just thank totally plays <laughs> into this. So, so we're gonna love it. And next week on your birthday, yeah, we're actually gonna be doing our, our card class. I know instead of opening cards. I've got competition. I know, but we're it's gonna be not, doing this. It's not all about me. Karen actually did that. Except you do make it no, happen. No, oh, see, that's no. what Sam said. Okay. Karen <laughs> scheduled it just to give me a good object lesson. Tim, oh, no. it's not all about I you. said, oh my goodness, it's so convenient that your birthday falls on a Facebook Live. But we're looking forward to that. And we have just a handful more card kits. So if you're interested, I'll put a link because you'll you can make the five cards with us. Otherwise, it's for everyone to watch. You can and you can just watch it. But Tim, if you want to create with us, birthday boy will take it take it to the post office. So. Yes, he's been doing runs all the time. So that is wonderful. So that's and then our other just quick little announcement is the Bellum class will also be coming up. All good cards club and all kinds of cool things we'll be doing with Bellum. So with that information and today's card. Okay, someone needs the address. I'll put it in Facebook right right after this. Or I'll put it in the I'll put it in the show notes. So you know, because Tim wouldn't want to miss getting a card. That's right. <laughs> and just a quick thing: if somebody sent me a really great sentence, if it was you, would you send it again? Life has been so crazy here. I couldn't go through the comments looking for it. But this is the host code: P three S R U D N three. You can always find that by going to KarenTitus.com. And you will get a card kit when you place a $50 order. And this month it's featuring your peach. So let's get started with birthday cards. I will go put this one on. Yeah, Susan said she loves that new vellum. And that's just one of the things we'll be using. So if you have the new vellum, it'll be a good thing to use. But you don't need to, because we'll also talk about how you can color your own vellum. And that's only one of the three sessions you're at where we're going to be working with colored vellum. So we kind of cover lots of different things to do with vellum. So Karen's that's all got, fun. Karen's got mail. Yes, this is so fun. And this is from Veronica Jameson from Canada. Oh, that's so fun. Isn't it fun that we're just worldwide? I said, oh, so fun to get that. And this is adorable. Oh, I love that bee and the splatters in the background. Celebrate every moment. That is a wonderful card. Love it. And it's just simple and elegant. Just, it's so weird. Mm hmm What is? NB. What does that stand for? What province is NB? Okay, if you're on here, who knows? Somebody knows the answer. NB. Thanks, Mickey, for sharing and everyone else. I thought it was Nebraska in the United States, but NB is... Nova Scotia, no. Okay, Jewel wants to know when the Vellum class is. It is like the 19th, 20th, or 18th, 19th, whatever that Friday, Saturday is. We meet three times. No, that's in no, June. That's Father's Day. Yeah, okay, but it's Friday, Saturday. So it's probably 17th. No, it's 18th, 19th. I got it. Tim, I've got it covered. Would you just trust okay. me? No, I never have my dates right, and you guys know it. But we meet three times Friday night, twice on Saturday. And the cool thing about my classes are I share some ideas and then everyone else shares their takes. You get access to the videos and the PDFs. You also get that forever. So it doesn't matter if you can't make it live. The group stays really active, certainly for the next week while people are posting. And then even beyond that. My sister, mm -hmm. Mary Burks, is coming to town. She's coming to town on the, like the 15th. And we are going to jam as much stuff into our schedule as possible. <laughs> To say, Mary, you're so welcome to come, you know, but we're, we're so busy. But <laughs> she'll right. actually. But she'll have fun. She'll, she'll fit right in. She'll fit right in. And she, she'll she be loves a part being of, busy. It'll be, be very fun having her. And, 
Karen Meager from New York, it must be. Oh, this is pretty. So any response about what Canada is? Oh, NB? have we gotten a response yet? NB. Oh, oh, this is a, oh, this is a thank you for them. One of the, she got one of the mystery boxes I sent out last month. Oh, is that ever fun to get thank yous? And I'm totally not expecting them. This is, isn't this cute, Tim? A it little is. anchor, some kind of embellishment from somewhere. Yes. And then all the designs. Oh, that's really a fun card. And just that added little piece. That is, and that is great. New Brunswick. Oh, New that's Brunswick. why couldn't of we think course. of that? Now it's so obvious. Yes. Um, oh, Thank perfect. You. Okay, just wait. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This is like in the sand when somebody has been shipwrecked. They're saying, oh, no, they're not saying, you know, help me or SOS. They're saying, hello. I actually posted a photo that someone did. Oh, really? Uh, the Stampin' Up thing. Oh, okay. Um, in the sand. And took photos and said everyone could share them so i said that was fun so i posted yeah. that but that's really cool because it it does you know that is a whole trend to do messages in the sand and then send them to someone and so it's very cool allowing when the surf comes in to wash them to away. wash it away yeah that washing it away would be an interesting little video and then you could speed it up mm. that would be an interesting thing <laughs> Nita kumar from new york oh a couple new yorkers here oh this was a very a, round okay <laughs> it would make sense. I was going to say, oh, it's a drop down card. No, but it's not. Uh, love it. This is, oh, this was one of my favorite card kits in the catalog last year, the one that just retired. Isn't that just gorgeous? Hmm. It is just really beautiful. Now you can just dress it up and add your own, but your own take there. I especially like how intense the painting is or the color. Yeah, it, yeah, the color it's beautiful the colors. It is. The gold. And yeah, it is. It is. It's beautiful. It's great. Another B card. And this was a. Uh, this is a thank you card from uh, K Karen Dixon. I thought, isn't this fun? Love the gold metallic. So a B theme, two B cards today. And boy, you know, there've been a lot of articles lately about working to save the bees. So um, because just a lot of issues with that. But I thought, I love this. Love how it's the, there. And then we've got the decorative piece yep. on the side and behind there. Very nice. Karen's from it's Iowa. Beautiful. Yep. Oh, yep. And the last one is from Ann Talicki from Washington. Welcome home and happy birthday. Oh, a never ending yes. card. Okay. Which I looked at it. I opened it. Did you these. figure it out? No, I didn't even I didn't even didn't try. I have you help me do yes, one? Because we did no. a couple videos on never ending cards. Yeah, so I, just one on regular size and then one on oversized because we were thinking of COVID times and you can only just go, like, go up to the door. Um like when our son John, who's in a group home, you could only be on the other side of the window. You couldn't actually be together. So great big card. Uh, it was just kind of a fun thing. This is awesome. Look at that. And then you put your words wishing you a magical moments and wonderful memories, sending a smile your way. And see, every time you unfold it, I know it. These are fun to do with kids and for kids too, because you know they just love it. That's just really cool. And look at all the different ways you can do it. Look, see, and look at all the area and that's all you get to write so that is cool i should put i will put in the show notes a link to instructions for that so okay i could keep playing with that but, but we better move on okay oh kathy said she loved that video on the never ending cards wonderful well, thanks kathy but today's class is brought to you by idea from julie collie i got this card from her and i had shown it before but it reminded me i haven't done a lattice or a braided card it can be called either one for years i was trying to find uh, uh the what i used to pass out of classes this was you know back in the late 90s <laughs> i i would keep photocopying my same pattern and got lighter and lighter and lighter and i was going to say one to just see how <laughs> you could almost couldn't see it but i i found um a more recent one than that, but I thought I just loved it. And people loved it because it just makes such a dramatic look. Isn't that pretty? That is. So based on that, I thought that would be a fun thing to cover. So you're going to do that today? This is what we're going to do. You're going to do it. I still, you know, no, 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 no. <laughs> that is way too complicated. How do you get a piece of paper woven in? So, you know. Oh. Now she's done cardstock. We are going to do designer series paper or any pattern paper, any scrapbook paper you have. I'm going to do typing. Paper. Yeah. For, 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 and mainly because they still look beautiful and they're just easier to play with. So once you have made a few, you can go do cardstock if you want. But I thought today, you know, we, we go for, um, we, we go for whatever's easy to start with. So let me, 
Okay, so here is one. We'll show a couple examples here. So isn't that fun? Very cool. I think these, I just think these are just really beautiful and you can decorate them however you want. So there's one. Here's another one, just adorable. Mm. This looks like it has a ribbon going through it. It's just the opposite mm. paper, but the cute little bear. And okay, then here are two that are done the same. They're done on a little bit smaller paper. And so they're just back on something else. So it just gives it a different look. Mm -hmm. That's and then after that, we're going to do, this is how you do if you do the same technique, but just want to do it on the front of your card. So one idea, lots of cards. And you guys know, of course, this is. That is cool. Look isn't that cool? This is the challenge over in the Backport Stampers for the week. Let's see something that you make with this lattice thing. So you can get your template at KarenTitus.com. What is, is that? Piece of paper? Yeah, it's just paper. All oh, of these are just so done with paper. Cool. Isn't that just cool? Okay, so we are going to get started. This is the template. I extended the lines a little because I thought they needed a little longer, but I probably extended them too much. But you know, my motto is good enough is good enough. But um, So this is your template, and then I cut them apart. So if somebody got this, it's because I went to uh, FedEx and... And yeah, we don't have a scanner. Scan, scan yeah, it. and Luann Blade really helped me out. She sent me this stuff, and then I realized it, I hadn't made it quite long. Anyway, you don't want to know, but you guys know that we struggle with tech, so it's kind of amazing that we get here, but I decided, okay, this will work. So then these are cut apart, so this is going to be my template. And I'm going to take Ruthann. It's your first time here live. So glad you're here. All right. Okay. And Kathy says it's fun to see there's other ways of using this too. So that's really fun. Did I just iterate? Is it what is it? What? Reiterate? I don't know. <laughs> Emphasize? I don't know All what you're right. trying to say. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. You betcha. <laughs> Got a little Minnesotan here. Okay. I want to line this up to the edge of my card. Now I could cut this even more. But, you know, I'm not usually that that fussy. But I'm just, you know, we deal in the land of possibilities as crafters. I'm going to put that where I want. Where I want this to go, I actually like this to be up close to the top. Some people make it a little further down. That's why I did that. And that's where I figure you can play with it because it's your card. Decide where you want it. And to see, I'm just going to take a, 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 a paper mega clip. paper clip. <laughs> I'm just lucky to find one, so it's fine, fine if they're big, you know. And then I want to make sure that's kind of on the back there. Now I could fold this over. I could do anything. But, you know, this is all. This all works. I'm going to slip that in. And then these are the lines I'm going to cut on. And you're going to see they alternate between a longer one oh. and a short one. That's why they're different. And I go really quickly. The more exacting you are the more perfect your cards will turn out. But, you know, it doesn't really matter because it's going to be beautiful anyway. You really can't do too much wrong here. So I go for a second. You can see I'm not I'm missing the lines too. That's because <laughs> that's because I'm live. And it's, it is so funny, you guys. We've been doing this long enough and it still is just weird. It's because okay. I'm watching over her shoulder and I'm so who is doing this along with me? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Minnesota, you betcha. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. We are still roasting here in Minnesota. I think a lot of the country is still roasting. So it is. Uh, and there are, you know, fires going on in Arizona. So anyway, now when I open this, this is what I'm going to have. So I'm going to do this one and then I'm going to have Tim. I'm going to see if, uh, how Tim does, does in one. Okay. So I'm going to take the bottom one. And I'm going to fold it down. And so now the trick in folding it, I just to see where the fold is right there. I want that on the same fold line. Mm -hmm. So that's why pattern paper is lighter. So it just gives you more leeway. I don't care if things are just a little bit off. Now this bottom one, I'm actually going to cut off. So cut that Ooh, one. The waist. And that one. Okay, and then I'm going to take every other one. So I'm going to leave that. And again, I'm going to fold it just so it hits the line. Mm. Cool. Isn't that cool? Am I supposed to be paying attention? I'm you are because you're going to do this. And I'll, that's the only part I care about. I'm not really being fussy where it hits or anything else. It's just I want to make sure that that's going to be on that fold. 
And you know, all cards can be adjusted and changed. If you have an idea to make it a little different, go for it, you know? It's, it's all it's all good. And then this one is gonna come up here. So this is gonna be my last little one. So let me just put a little, oh, and then the other thing that I'm going to do is tuck these in. So I'm gonna go through and tuck all of these under. The reason I'm doing that right now is because I will go ahead and tuck this one under. Oh, I think my glue has been sitting too long. Let me try this one. Okay, a little bit of glue on. And again, I'm going to tuck that under mm. and just put it right there. Too much glue, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. So, but isn't that cool? Eh, my hands are good. Hands are totally good. But it, but isn't that a fun look? And now yes. when we fold it over, this is wow. the look we get. Now, this card I made, this is just another different paper in the same pattern. So I thought I would do the, I would basically do the same thing. But to see how these are, that is going to be that. Okay. Okay, a few of you are going to try it. Most of you are going to wait, and that's okay, too, because you'll just see how we've done this a few times. Uh, Tim is disappearing. He must have some idea in mind. Okay, so this was the first card. Now, I'm going to cut another one and do it. Oh, and then what's cool, this one and this one, I use this part. See how this is the inside? This is what I'm going to use then on the outside, so it coordinates with that. And then I'll put my plant or my words or whatever on. So that's just pretty fun. I just just in case I get glue all over. Oh, okay. So Tim, you're actually, I already, I cut yours. Oh my goodness. That's so insane. how cool is that? Now, do you remember what you do with starting with the bottom one? Tear it off. Just tear it off. Yeah, that's right. And while he does that, I will, I will cut okay. one more. So I do. Cut that off. Yep. You, well, see, the, the one above it, because see that you, you want the score thing. So this one, oh, okay. you're going to fold down okay. to hit in the and middle and cut that off. off. And while he does that, I will do one more from scratch, and then we'll go on to the other things you can do with this. And I'll still be working on the first one. <laughs> so meanwhile, <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> okay. I'll grab my scissors. So are you guys thinking of ideas of what you're going to put on your cards? And, you know, this is just a fun, and it is one of those kind of cards that people think, oh, how did you do that? I know. So you can see, I'm just cutting mine, and he's going to, every other one, got it. And I was just thinking of all the different papers, you know, what to try first. And of course, you can do this with solids too, like the card that I showed. It's just so you don't see in a pattern paper if you cut too far in or if you, you know, it's just, it's just more forgiving. So um, for us right now, we decided that would work well. As if we decided. <laughs> As if we decided we needed to be things that were forgiving. I think that is kind of a given <laughs> in our life. <laughs> Especially for me. <laughs> Yeah, and I know, you know, this should be done at the table. I actually was making mine just sitting in the chair. It doesn't really matter. So <laughs> I am, see, I'm making mine mid-air. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm taking up too much of the table. Okay. Well, I want to give you center stage, Tim, you know, because you, you. you crave it. Okay, so this is what you do in the last one. Take the one from the other end. Yep. And you're just gonna put a little bit of glue what if I want? just on the two corners. Okay. If that makes sense. So you'll notice how really how quickly this works up. I mean, this isn't taking us much time at all. It's even me. So I think that's really fun when you can do a card that looks pretty amazing, but isn't real time consuming. Uh oh, there. That's why. Okay, that's why you had it. Okay, put those in, and it can take. The glue just a minute to dry. And now look at this. Look at this. All right. Now, do you want to make a dozen of these? No. <laughs> 
But that is easy, isn't it? It is. It's actually that really is cool. Easy. Now you could try threading a ribbon through here. There's a lot of other things you could you keep, keep trying. Uh, no, but I just thought I just wanted to show how how quick that is. So, and the card you made, then I just decided this Ooh. little bear is so adorable from the count on me. Mm -hmm. So I just took that. Um, and then with this, see, this is the other one that I made. Now I just wanted to say something. The original way that I made this, this didn't go up high enough. So that's why I cut my paper down. That's why I just think this is also forgiving. So like, I don't care that that didn't go to the top, but let's say it was too far down. Just cut your paper a little more and either leave it smaller size or put it on backing. And I think that's really pretty too. And then here I just cut out from the extra piece little flowers to put there and I'll do the same from this paper. They're both these are both from hand penned and they um they both will work the same way. So I think that's pretty fun. The designer series paper, you know, this is one of the most popular selling ones. So I said it's been between this and the pansy petals, but a whole bunch of them there. It was just kind of interesting to hear that report, but I thought we just love playing with our designer series paper. And I'll just give give a shout out to quality of work at the end because it does not look very different from no, it doesn't. what Karen did to what I did. They both look pretty good. They do. So it is that was that was actually easy. And it's also fun because some of these cards look really elegant. This is a real cutesy card. You know, it's just however you finish it up is still going to be so much fun. So, Oh, baby shower invitations. This would be darling on a baby in shower invitation. Yes, it would. Mm -hmm. So if you make one, post one over in the back porch stampers because we love to see what you do. And now we're going to take the same idea because I think this is fun too. And this card just stands alone mm -hmm. this way. And this is from that artistic expressions thing. And so on this, now this is my favorite paper in the group, mm -hmm. uh, but this also has some things that that would just try this. So this is going to be done the very do same way. I don't know. Do you feel like cutting or do you want me to cut? No, you cut. I'll cut and then you want to put together? Um, or do you want to do nothing? Well, let's let's hear watch. it for Tim. Yeah, he wants to watch. <laughs> no. Okay, we're going to do this. The other thing that's cool about this, you know, if I made this and wasn't happy with where it was centered, you can always just cut it a little smaller. This card would be just as beautiful with little parts trimmed off. So it's just so forgiving. I always have to check there to see if I have it. That's a good idea. Basically on the line and then it's good enough. I'm a speeder, speedy cutter, so I'll cut it, but then I'll let you fold it. That sounds good. We're making quick work out of today. So I thought this might be a while, but we are speedy stampers. <laughs> Sharon, you got your stamp set and card making supplies for two weeks from now for today. Thank Good, I'm glad you got it. Can you imagine? If you've ordered them, they are in the mail. Can you imagine if Karen stamped as fast as she talks? <laughs> it would be like a whirlwind. I talk with It actually fast. would, paper on the table would start flying around. <laughs> I think I talk like an extrovert because I talk really fast. <laughs> and I'm really an introvert. To... When I'm done talking, my life is quiet. I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> right, Tim? Right. <laughs> I'm just I so to. done. <laughs> She's so done. So all right, you are going to see what you can remember, and you're going to work on this one. <laughs> I can see what I remember. <laughs> and then while he's doing that, oh, yeah, so here's another one that was done a little smaller and put in the background. Um, for the front design, I, you know, it kind of doesn't matter. I believe this is, uh, I can tell you what it is. I actually cut it down. I, so I believe it is about three and a half. I actually started with, I'm going to borrow this a second because I want to tell you what I did. Oh, I did do this the exact size. So then I will measure if I have a thing to measure. I started with it at four inches, so I scored it at two, but then I wanted it shorter. So I cut it in half and I cut off a quarter inch, if that makes sense. So this part is four inches. Now that makes no sense. The reason I'm saying that is it really doesn't matter what size you start with. You can take your paper because this would be pretty if it's cut smaller. So I started with it wider and then I trimmed it off to cut it smaller. Does that make, now it's cause notice this one. Oh, case in point. This is the same thing, but I'm cutting one fewer of these and look how narrow I made this. 
I should have a ruler here, Tim. I think I took my ruler away. Let me grab this and I will see if I can do good enough here. I usually have one out here. So yeah, this is like, this is three and a half inches. She's even been known to have yardsticks out here. This one is about one and three quarters. But again, I originally made this at two. And let's see, let's see if I did this. Oh, see, I did it a little wider because this was the same size I had. And I thought, and then afterwards when it was done and I was putting my card together, I thought, oh, it seemed a little too wide. So then I just cut a little narrower. So I just love that you can, you kind of can create as you go. Then once you have something you like, if you're going to do it again, then you know your measurements. But we're going to just start with this again. The reason I like to start with this one a little wider is just in case I get a little scissors happy and cut off an end. I would rather not do that and trim at the end <laughs> if I need if that makes sense. <laughs> is this the one that one is it? Um, yes. Yeah. You, you, oh. just, you just oh. turn it, you twist it. Okay. So on this one, oh my goodness, I put everything in the other room. So I really was working on all this this morning. I usually use a score thing, but since it's designer series paper and it's lighter, I can just fold it this way. <laughs> See how forgiving this is? I think this just makes it really easy. Now I'm going to have this little tiny thing and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do the same thing. Whoops, I gotta figure out. I may end up just putting this on the bottom and then holding it. I'm good with that. Okay, good enough is Voila. good enough, okay? Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? See, and that's gonna be gorgeous too because then, and I don't have another paper here, but you see how this is gonna go on? Now you could trim this or leave it the same, but do you see how this is exactly how the front was done? Mm -hmm. A little bit of that. So we'll take a picture of that and put it on the blog, but we don't have that done. But that is really a stunning look. And so this would show all of the papers in the set. They all have that little foiling. Mm -hmm. They'd make a really beautiful set of cards like that. And they're perfect for any occasion. Is it cardstock that you cut the lines? Um, this is just copy paper. This is just printed out in the printer because I want it really light, you know, and you're cutting through two layers. So if you're cutting through cardstock, that's a little thicker too. And this, it's another reason designer series paper um, is, uh, you know what? what are you doing? I'm going to do this freehand. And then just, this might be a reason you want to have your paper wider and then trim it afterwards, but we're going to just, gonna this is going to work. I'm being very, wow. I, okay. So I want to always end, you know what? This might even be shorter than the last one. Let's do one. I'm going to start with right here just because I'm making this up. So I want to start with a short one. That's what I want on the bottom is a short one. And the rest, I'm just going to go up like here. I was thinking it would be fun to try one of these with outlines. Someone could do that too. But they'd be all kind of irregular, but I bet it would be a cool look. So... You know, if I had more time, we'd keep playing. So this is going to be possibly even smaller. So now I'm going to open this. I'm going to take the top one off. And maybe it is the same size. <laughs> maybe that's how my mind is going today. I'm just not totally sure. I'm going to cut off the bottom one. Oh, it's the second from the bottom. Tim, is it next week that's your birthday already? Oh, so it's next week that class is. I was still thinking it was two weeks. Karen, next week. Karen, two weeks from today. Okay, next week, settle in for a longer one because we will be making those cards. So I think that we'll be will be blowing a little... out the candle, opening <laughs> that's the gifts. Will fly. <laughs> it's too funny. <laughs> Where does time go? Actually, oh, yeah. So it's a good thing they are in the mail. And we have just like three or four more that we could mail. So. And Sister Mary will be here, so it'll definitely be on. Okay. How cool is this? And let me even see if I did. Did I do the same size? I think I did it less. I did it shorter. More. See, look at that. Longer. Oh, okay. No, so, but that's know. cool. Okay. Because see, you just never know what's going to happen. And we just like, we like all possibilities. I'll let you screw that back on. So I will finish these up on my blog. I will put... Uh, did, did I do it right? Yes, I did it right. But but okay, see what I did here? That that was too short, my long one. But it's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Are you laughing, at me, Tim? Did I do something well, wrong? 
totally different. So maybe it, it's totally yeah. different. But okay, when I, I close, close it, when I close it, Tim is telling me what to do. It should be a little bit lower. Well, yeah, we're gonna live with it. Mm, we're gonna live with it. Okay, we're totally good. Okay, so this was my original card. This one is going to be like that. So I could leave it. I could leave it like this, or I could choose to cut this one even shorter and pretending. But this is exactly how I design, although I cut it with a straight, <laughs> something straight. Okay, let me do a little, a little bit better than that. Okay. And then I'll play with that. I like that. You know what else would be cool? This would fit going this way. Mm -hmm. Now, this would be cool too. And just, then I have a whole thing here to work with. Now, this is not going to fit under there? Or it's it... not going to because I'm going to have to lift it. Okay. Okay. But see, I think I need to do that to salvage it. And maybe in trying to salvage it, I'm going to make it worse. It. I just may ruin it. But that, it's only paper. So, isn't that good? Got to test that theory sometimes. I think I can pull that off. But anyway, <laughs> okay. This is real life, right? Okay. Yeah, I think I can do that and pull that off. But what I'm just saying, this is like a very different size and it's very mm -hmm. short and I would like to put it on a card like this mm -hmm. and that put things there. So I think that's a really fun idea too. Debbie says, if you folded your cutting pattern, you could put the DSP inside to cut it, cut at the same time too. Kara says, why don't you gl just glue the first one? Okay, I, I will do one more here to show this, why, why we do this, because, um, and I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to do this one really fast again, too. Living on the edge. No fastening. No safety rope. No, 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 net. no safety net. <laughs> so if it bombs, I'll just say, ah. Oh. Tim did it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just sign his name on the back. Okay, now I'm just going to show something. If we don't cut off the back, really, you're just going to get a different look. But that doesn't make it bad, right? Okay, so I'm going to go through these. And that's where I just think the idea behind patterns is to just play. I mean, a pattern, you know, if you've ever sewn clothes or designed clothes and things too, you know, all the things that you can change to make it your own. And then go through. I think this is really actually fast to do. Okay, that one. And you know what? Like this one doesn't quite fit under. So you know what you can always do is come back and just cut it a little longer. I'm not going to today, but you see, it's really easy to fix things. Well, but it's actually cut longer down there. Oh, I didn't fold it. Oh, it, it's my. It was my error. <laughs> Yes, it wasn't a cutting problem. Okay, now if I fold this, tuck them under, and let's leave the bottom one, because personally, I think this is a good look too. Do you see, I'm gonna put on white so you can just see it better. Do you see how it's just missing a thing here? This is why we take this bottom one and put up here, unless you like that look. And I don't mind that look either. So, um, but that's why this is kind of the part that gets put up there, because it just kind of fills in the design. Okay, does that make sense? So we'll just show again these these uh, different cards. And I just think, man, this went fast. And we did a bunch of these in a very short time. And now it's just the fun of decorating them. So very fun. I know there's, there's six. There's one more flow. Oh, right here. So we did six cards in this short time. So I'll put it back on us. I said, that was fun. And you enjoyed doing that. I so did. That was really a very cool look. So I'm curious, which of these is your favorite? And partly we're going to be able to tell what's your favorite because it's going to be which kind of pattern we see most often <laughs> over on the backboard stampers. But so come on over, share your work with us. That just makes it so fun. And thanks, guys. And if you have any questions, give me a call. I know these are all a lot of announcements. So this is our special month between doing the stamp class and Tim's birthday and <laughs> our, our anniversary. Our anniversary. So it's all good. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Father's Day. Yes. And we'll see you next week. Goodbye. But yes. You're, and we're just cutting copy paper. Yep. So it's just really thin and not adding much bulk. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>